uh, first of all, I have to say that maybe I boil down you uh, 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 that I'm uh, I'm not mathematician. <laughs> in other in other said information, I am not epidemiologist, and I am not a physician. I am field zoologist. And uh, the subject of my presentation will be uh, some information about, maybe brief information about the situation with uh, very important problem of the world, biological invasion of alien species. You know that uh, uh, this problem now, it's one of the big challenge for all countries of the world. And uh, as, as I understand, uh, the organizing committee invited me here because it's close connected with the uh, subject of this workshop. Uh, I mean, first of all, it's spreading of disease because spreading of disease uh, closer for some methods, for some approaches, with the problem of biological invasion of alien species. And another thing that's uh, many, uh, my subject, uh, animals, and slightly the uh, in other, uh, uh, the animals, uh, they uh, uh, are responsible for <coughs> spreading of uh, many diseases in the world, uh, including the human disease. <coughs> uh, several words about uh, the terms. Uh, terms uh, what we are what the terms of biological invasion of alien species? Of course, there are many different points of view for such thing, but uh, in general, we follow such <coughs> thing, uh, uh, that uh, such explaining of this process that uh, we understand the biological invasion as any uh, establishment of species out, uh, uh, outside of uh, the native range. Uh, of course, it's, uh, many, uh, there are many discussions about it, what it means native range. From what time we should uh, uh, decide that this species is not an alien species, but not native species. Because you know that uh, different uh, uh, historical point, uh, different scientists uh, uh, distinguish it it's mainly in the beginning of the uh, a uh, 19th century, maybe before, before the homeland. But anyway, uh, to my approach, uh, it is uh, if uh, the ecosystem is new, uh, when the new species penetrate to this ecosystem, we should study these processes because the first of all, it's ecological and uh, uh, genetical problem. Because if, if we have a new ecosystem, and in this new ecosystem penetrate new species, we should study this uh, subject. Uh, why, uh, how this came to the new, new range? How this new species, uh, alien species, come to the outside of his native uh, uh, range? Uh, it's a natural movement uh, related uh, in fluctuation in population abundance and of course climate changes. Uh, because the subject of this workshop is climate changes, any time I will try to attract your attention to this point of uh, the distribution and spreading of uh, alien species. And of course, anthropogenic anthropo anthropo impact, uh, such as construction of new invasion corridors, ha new habitat creation and transformation, eutrophication, uh, I mean it's additional uh, biological matter to the ecosystem, what this means is additional food. Uh, intentional and accidental introduction is very important because maybe you know in all, in all countries, including my country, Russia, I, uh, 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 it was, was very popular in the beginning of last century to intentionally introduce many, many, many species outside of native range for increase the production for another things. Uh, uh, I briefly inform you about the situation with uh, uh, biological invasion of alien species and uh, all my example 
will be mainly from the territory of Russia and Asia and Europe uh, uh, because uh, uh, I'm more familiar with these things and because maybe uh, in Russia, in, in my country and in Europe, the study of biological invasion of alien species, uh, species uh, started uh, later than in the United States, in Australia, in New Zealand. Uh, and, uh, but uh, another thing that uh, we have a very big territory in different geographical zones. And the last part of my report uh, will be concerning the, our activity in Africa and our activity in frame of uh, International Union of Biological Sciences because I am represented to this, this organization here. Well, what is the consensus of a biological invas invasion? Of course, it's biodiversity, biogeography, genetical structure of population, microevolution, epidemiology, of course, and a common economy. Uh, <clears throat> First of all, ecological aspects of invasion. What uh, what are doing the uh, uh, alien species will they come to new ranges, in new, uh, uh, in new water bodies, in new places, so forests or some other place. Alien species uh, may change uh, the uh, native uh, species habitats. It's very important because some of these uh, alien species is so-called keystone species. These species which uh, 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 Activity of this species destroyed everything that's, uh, and uh, destroyed sometimes ecosystem and destroyed uh, habitat. Uh, alien species um, uh, can be a competitor of local species and contribute their dis disappearance, displacement. Alien species can before uh, uh, become predators of native species and also promote their di displacement. If any species can carry or themselves cause disease or parasite infection of aboriginal species. As the consequences, we observe the ecosystem, changes of ecosystem structure and function. It is important scheme of the, uh, of course, uh, when we will uh, touch with the problem of biological invasion of alien species, uh, uh, we should develop some the pro uh, uh, such uh, approaches for risk assessment. But really this scheme, it is, uh, this scheme represented the all processes of invasion. Uh, why the, we observe the invasion? Uh, first of all, should be a special uh, corridors for invasion. We call it invasion, invasion pathway or invasion corridors. Without things, it's impossible to invade or penetrate to, from one ecosystem to another ecosystem. Uh, to determine the vectors, how they come to this new ecosystem, intentional introduction or maybe accidental introduction or some uh, self-spreading or another one. Uh, we need uh, to organize the assessment of inoculation rate, parapagol operation, how many organisms penetrate the new ecosystem. And we need to study the invasive species of biological trace, how they accommodate it to new condition, uh, first of all environmental condition for new species, for predators, for competitors and so on. And we need to assess them, uh, ass uh, to, to organize the assessment of ecosystem vulnerability to invasion. <coughs> <coughs> Several words about the process of invasion. According to long-term uh, observation, first of all, on the uh, intentionally introdu introduced population, uh, in the beginning of last centuries was uh, 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 the process of invasion will be, be described as this core. A different stage of invasion, you see we now uh, process in the beginning, uh, some several individuals came to new, new places and after they, uh, they established the po establishing population, 
uh, this one, and after them, the explosion of population density and stabilization. <coughs> uh, what is uh, two, uh, two big general type of invasion? It's diffusion, uh, uh, diffusive invasion and stratified invasion. What means uh, the uh, diffusion invasion? It looks like uh, physical or chemical processes of diffusion. And when the rate of uh, spreading uh, the uh, uh, species from native range uh, have a constant rate, uh, uh, gradually they penetrate to new place. After that, uh, we can uh, observe the another kind of spreading with only small part uh, of the uh, new established population come to a big distance. Uh, diffusion invasion depends on the fitness of increase in number of population of the rate of reproduction and depends on the uh, on density uh, regulation and the tendency of spread of uh, in search of new resources. According to all processes in the physics, it's a, it's very good uh, described by its, uh, such equation. Uh, I mean, it's a diffusion a diffusion spreading. Uh, all of this is uh, special diffusion coefficient. It's uh, this uh, in practice. These diffusion coefficients can determine if we uh, use the uh, release the recapture uh, individuals uh, to estimate the numbers. Uh, this uh, uh, determined by M and. Uh, what is uh, the illustration of this uh, diffusion, uh, diffusion uh, invasion of so-called traveling wave front? Uh, you, uh, I repeat that it's uh, in these days the rate, rate of penetration of species in new places, uh, uh, it's uh, penetration uh, have the, the, the constant, constant rate. Uh, it's step by step, gradually, uh, population, uh, it is dense distance, penetrate in new places. One of the examples of such penetration, it is a uh, very popular uh, sub, uh, anim animal for invasion science, it is a muskrat. Maybe you know this muskrat originally have a, a, a native range in the territory of uh, South, uh, North America. Uh, in the beginning of last century, according to one data, it, is, it was in 95, but in, according to another data, in 99, uh, for uh, development of fuel farming in Czech Republic, in the center of Europe. Uh, this uh, species was introduced, intentionally introduced, and uh, after that, gradually, uh, sorry, uh, gradually uh, uh, occupied the, all the area of Europe. Uh, you see here, uh, this, it's Czech Republic near the Prague, it is capital of Czech Republic. And during uh, 30 years, occupied all of Europe, and after that, penetrated to the Russia, from to Great Britain, but Englishmen was very clever. It immediately destroyed the population. Up till now, the muskrat uh, uh, not observed in territory of Great Britain. <laughs> Diffusive invasion rate in marine uh, organism is lower than in, uh, in terrestrial ones. Stratified invasion. Stratified invasion uh, process illustrated this scheme. You see here uh, this, uh, this arrow uh, that show uh, the constant rate of uh, spreading of the uh, animals or plants. 
but sometimes uh, the rate of the spreading can be dramatically increase uh, according to some natural processes, for instance, by using the wind uh, and uh, some maybe uh, transported uh, the seeds, plant seeds by the birds and uh, some accident and so on, but of course because the intentional introduction and after that, they organized such a, a satellite population, established the satellite population. And after that, that's maybe it's uh, uh, continue the uh, spreading by diffusion manner. But uh, anyway, it's a scheme of these processes. Uh, one of uh, the uh, recent events of such uh, stratified dispersal, uh, do you remember five years ago, we have the accident in Fukushima in Japan, and after this accident and eruption and, and earthquake and uh, many small fisher, fisher, fisheries boat uh, went to the open ocean. And after two or three months, because the ocean current came to territory uh, to the coast of the uh, United States, in the many of these uh, fishery boats was found alive fish, invertebrates, uh, and algae, and some other organisms. That is one of the case of uh, example of such stratified dispersal. <coughs> it is the same scheme as uh, for diffusion uh, uh, invasion, but you see sometimes the uh, rate rate of uh, invasion uh, increase and uh, the part of the population comes to a much more distance than originally. Uh, very important pro uh, problem uh, was uh, with invasion meltdown. It was found with observed in many, in many places uh, that invasion species <coughs> <coughs> Uh, was, was observed that after the invasion of one or two species, uh, the uh, invasion processes uh, activated. Do you remember the first scheme uh, ex uh, describing the all processes of biological invasion? Uh, what we need? We need uh, one of the important things is propagol pressure. Uh, pressure how many individuals come in new, in new, in, in new places. And uh, if we uh, ha take the different uh, medium, uh, 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 high, uh, high uh, medium and low propagol pressure, uh, this, uh, uh, it's the, uh, the probability of uh, community invasion uh, uh, described by such three curves. What we observed, uh, it is a result of the modeling and observation of the nature. Uh, the, uh, in, uh, uh, after the pre-invasion or first invasion, uh, this uh, population need, uh, need my, uh, much more lower uh, propagol supply for successive invasion. Uh, lake fast of the invasion processes. In first lecture, Yatsik already told you about the, some uh, problem with uh, the density of threshold of the density of population in, uh, in zoology uh, since the beginning of the last century after the early uh, uh, work. Uh, it's very popular, uh, the explaining of uh, uh, the dynamic of the animal population by the early effect was uh, because the different some uh, fitness of characters, a peculiarity of different species of, uh, of animals uh, were found uh, that uh, 
uh, so-called Oli, Oli effect, it, it was very important for biological invasion processing be, 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 because the all species, uh, different species, different population have a specific uh, threshold for the uh, minimum size of the population uh, for the establish the new one. It's very important if the original propagol pressure and the condition for surviving of newcomers it's no, uh, not uh, uh, so good it's, it's with uh, uh, the result of the, pop, uh, the uh, invasion we uh, can observe in different, uh, uh, in different times. In, in, this, this, uh, in this picture we can see this invasion absolutely impossible. Uh, and it is uh, if all the effect uh, uh, explained in the situation with the lake fires, which I mentioned before, uh, because uh, the uh, sufficient level of the population uh, uh, of population per capita growth, uh, it's very important in the first stage of the of the invasion, and uh, before the population jumped up this the threshold, it's impossible to determine the new, new, new species in the uh, aboriginal range. And uh, we can see in many, many, um, in, uh, we can see now in many examples when uh, the, the species from the beginning of the invasion up to the establishing the population and after, uh, uh, and uh, observed for many, several years, sometimes several decades of the year. And uh, these processes, in many, uh, we, we, in many cases, we can uh, observe the prolongation of these processes because the population growth uh, 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 increased some points, but after this decline, and all of this period, we can call the lake fast of invasion uh, because the <coughs> Uh, before the population uh, uh, cross this period and establish population and increase the uh, abundance. One of the examples of such thing that uh, maybe you know that's in, the, uh, in Russia many years ago, originally in the beginning of last century, they decided to introduce uh, very import, commercially important species, uh, red king crab, and after several in, uh, intentional introduction, it's, it, it was, uh, as I understand, a very, uh, very expensive thing uh, uh, because they transported by by the aircraft from ori originally uh, native range of uh, 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 red king crab. We call it Kamchatka crab near Kamchatka Peninsula in the Far East, in the, in the Pacific Ocean. Uh, it was initially, uh, uh, really, we, you see this, initially introduced in 1933, but uh, not with uh, any results. But after that, after the eight, uh, nine years of uh, introduction, they uh, transported the adult organism and eggs and uh, larva. And after that, you see how many? It was 30 years. 30 years, they established the population, and now they increase the population abundance. You can see now the commercial uh, 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 estimation and the capture per unit effort. About what about the global changes? Uh, about our pro uh, as to our approach, we understand the term the global changes as both climate changes and anthropogenic anthropogenic, anthropogenic in, in, uh, impact. Because in, sometimes anthropogenic impact is more effective than climate change, and uh, it is impossible to study the biological invasion of alien species. Uh, separately the, bio, the uh, global change before the climate and global change before the anthropogenic impact. Uh, according to uh, our long-term observation and uh, some modeling with my colleagues, we uh, f uh, 
pr uh, propose such a model of biological regulation of ecosystem vulnerability of alien species invasion. Uh, I again recollect to our first scheme of the invasion processes. You remember this, you need the uh, invasion corridor, we need the propagol pressure, uh, pressure and, first, and of course we have a vulnerability of ecosystem, uh, 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 ecosystem to invasion. I have to say that of course it's very, uh, this point of biological pro uh, invasion processes, it's, uh, it's more difficult for study because it's, uh, sometimes it's um, absolutely impossible to understand why this ec ecosystem invaded, but another one it's not. But uh, I proposed a such scheme uh, that's uh, to explain that uh, the, the processes, of course in general, uh, explain the processes of invasion. Uh, First of all, the primary production. Uh, I already tell, told you that uh, uh, before the additional food, it's impossible to penetrate new species. If no, no food for native, uh, native species, it's impossible to, uh, to get a food for uh, aliens. Uh, of course, primary production rise the vulnerability. It's, uh, according to uh, our study I mentioned before with uh, observation and experiments with, first of all, with uh, uh, invertebrate organism or freshwater invertebrates with crustacea uh, and some uh, modeling. Uh, we uh, understood that uh, very important predators because uh, the ecosystem with predators uh, pressure more vulnerable for invasion. Uh, and of course, uh, 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 another thing that's competitors of native species and parasite, uh, they uh, uh, reduce the vulnerability. <coughs> what we can see after the warming uh, pressure, uh, after the climate change, uh, primary production usually increase, especially I told you that my, all my uh, example is from northern part of the world, from the, my country, from Asia, and from the, uh, in other places. And uh, of course, the primary production is very important, and it's increase after the warming of this place. Uh, of course, the predators of native predators, uh, this uh, increase vulnerability, but of course, it's not good adapted for new condition. Uh, uh, and uh, the same situation with competitors and parasites. What we uh, see now as a result at, uh, in my country, you, uh, Russia is in the north country, it's not so by high level of biodiversity here, but uh, uh, anyway, now we absorb so many newcomers in different group of organisms. It's data from European part, but in, from another part it's We'll see later. Uh, but uh, countries very big, you see that we have the uh, different uh, natural zonation uh, uh, of biomes. It's different is we have an Arctic zone in south, southern Taiga, and uh, including the uh, uh, so small places of uh, desert. And uh, of course, the zoogeographical zoo zonation is not so variable, but uh, we have uh, five different uh, zoogeographical zones. It's very important, the proce process of invasion, that's uh, no border inside, that's uh, species from different parts of uh, one country can, can uh, transport it and introduce without any, any problem with any, any borders. Um, examples. One of the uh, examples is uh, distribution of uh, one weeds, uh, weeds of agriculture, ambrosia. But it's very important uh, thing that ambrosia uh, it is, uh, mm, uh, and another uh, uh, in some some in other plants uh, they. Mm, cause uh, the allergy 
uh, by distribution of the pollen of this uh, species. And what are these uh, species of ambrosia with penetrate uh, from uh, to, uh, to European part uh, to, Euro to Europe uh, many years ago, but uh, now uh, great weeds, uh, ragweeds. Uh, well, and what we uh, we can see with uh, uh, diffusion. Uh, uh, spreading of this uh, plant. You see here uh, this increasing of the occupied, uh, every year occupied ma many places uh, and uh, shift to the north and this red, red line, it is uh, the temperature with, uh, uh, for, uh, for this temperature this species is very good accommodated. And we are waiting for this uh, coming of this uh, uh, plant uh, in the north part. Well, another thing that's uh, uh, one of the disease of the uh, sunflower, uh, uh, this, uh, this is uh, uh, have the, the, same, the same scheme of penetration before the climate change, because the, this place became warming and wa warmer and warmer, uh, they uh, every year they uh, spread and uh, going to, to the north. Uh, the same situation with, uh, with the water organism. Uh, both, both reasons of um, intensification of invasion is uh, the warming and creation uh, anthropogenic uh, influence. The creation connection between different basins, uh, dam construction, organizing new habitat, uh, eutrophication, uh, uh, and of course climate change. Uh, what about the construction? You see that it's the European part of the Russia, Black Sea, Caspian Sea, and uh, du uh, during the last two centuries organized many channels which coincide uh, five sea basins together with other. Uh, uh, and uh, now it's possible for organism by themselves and using this, some she, uh, ships and uh, penetrated. And after that, uh, they construct, uh, constructed the dams in many places and uh, appeared the big reservoirs as uh, man made lakes. And of course, it's another habitat, it's, it's possible to penetrate for uh, lake species uh, there. That is the age of construction. And of course, uh, the, uh, uh, the increase the, in the, uh, the uh, traffic in this region because all of this, uh, this uh, channel was constructed for transporting the different goods, that's oil and some and other things and timber for different part of, of, the, uh, of uh, the Russia and Europe. <coughs> What about the eutrophication? You can see that it's uh, uh, primary production of uh, this new uh, re reservoir. This example for, uh, for one of the bigger ones, which I mentioned before. That's, uh, uh, you can see that it's uh, increasing of the organic matter uh, here uh, and uh, primary production uh, and uh, increasing of zooplankton production uh, it's a first level of food chain and uh, uh, la last in last two decades. What about the invasion? It's very interesting situation was absorbed in this so-called north uh, um, invasion corridor. After the construction, uh, the reservoirs, uh, may, many species, lake species, uh, begin and after the construction of the channels, uh, many species penetrated to, from the north. It's for different group of uh, hydrobionts, for different group of organisms. And especially, of course, zooplankton, because it's very small, crustacean, and it's very uh, simple to penetrate with different things. It's, uh, they uh, came uh, from the north. But uh, after the global change, after the warming, uh, the many species 
uh, exotic species from another water basin, and especially from south, uh, began to penetrate uh, to, the, uh, to the north part uh, of this corridor. Uh, it is the uh, ratio of different species here. It's, uh, you see, it was uh, prevailed to the Ponte Caspian. Uh, I should say that many of these species after this penetrated uh, with the ballast water, with falling to uh, the Great Lakes in uh, the North America. Uh, what the situation with, with another, with another uh, big rivers of the Asia? You see, in 2003 we observed uh, in many places, first of all in Volga River Basin, but of course in, in all great Siberian lakes, uh, it is uh, the ratio of uh, the fish, uh, of uh, alien species fish in all of these things. And after the 10 years, we observed the same situation, including the uh, Amur River, which very uh, fish community very diverse there. Uh, and, uh, but in Volga River, we have more than 30% of the species, it's now alien species. Uh, if we connect this observation with some uh, disease, uh, we, uh, in Russia it's a very important, very dangerous disease, opisarchosis, uh, pathogen is trematode, it's uh, 23 species of cyprinid fish, uh, uh, is uh, the host of this uh, uh, inter intermediate host of this uh, parasite. Uh, we observed five uh, Opistarchosis forci in the territory of Russia, and after the penetration, many Cy Cyprinid fish uh, to Siberian rivers, and uh, especially not from the south uh, to, uh, to the north, uh, the, we observed the widespreading of this uh, disease. At once I was in a in small workshop in, in Op River Basin in Siberia and uh, got the information that 40% uh, of local people have this disease now. <coughs> Black Sea situation. Uh, well, uh, Black situation, it's warming. It is south of the Russia, and because the two reasons, this uh, introducing the ballast water in the 1980s uh, and the warming, you see the how many ballast water. With ballast water, many species, you see how many, penetrate the territory of uh, Black Sea. Uh, it's only for, for, from Mediterranean, uh, because the warming and uh, traffic uh, and many, now we observed many such uh, exotic species in the Black Sea. Uh, it's uh, tropical species in the Mediterranean uh, Sea and fr in, from another. And uh, you see this uh, all picture of uh, introduction uh, for invasion species, uh, for invasion, you see this uh, ballast water and warming, and we, uh, we can see this uh, increasing of the invasion process there. Uh, species not only from Mediterranean, from all in other places of the world. What is priority targets of alien species in Russia? Uh, of course, it's very difficult. You saw that very, very ma uh, so many species penetrate in our territory and in our waters, and uh, we decided to to find the priority, how to manage these processes. And we established the journal, we uh, develop uh, the website, and uh, uh, oh, I have no, not so much time. Uh, <coughs> uh, you can see here the, uh, how to we choose this priority, and for different group of organisms, uh, we find uh, priority species. And uh, after that, we are now dealing with only with this species, first of all, because it's more dangerous. It's real invasive species, not alien species, but only but invasive species, which uh, uh, absorb the impact in, in uh, Aboriginal ecosystem. Uh, of course, some of them, it is uh, dangerous for agriculture, is Colorado potato beetle, and 
uh, aquatic invertebrates uh, for many things. First of all, it's uh, uh, Ctenopoma, it's comb jelly, which penetrated in 1982 uh, in Black uh, Azov and Caspian Seas, and uh, after that, destroyed the uh, pelagic ecosystem of all of this sea and all uh, catches in. Uh, uh, in the Caspian Sea and the Black Sea, dramatically decline after the intro uh, uh, okay, uh, occidental introduction of these species with ballast water. Uh, what about the mammals? Uh, there are m many mammals. Some of them, as I already told you about this muskrat. Uh, the whole situation here, of course, uh, Russian North Country, it's very difficult to penetrate in this team, but uh, anyway, we observed the spreading the uh, ranges of uh, all the species. Uh, including the species whale, if that's, which is uh, a host of many diseases, uh, for, for instance, uh, Norway raid, uh, um, all of this black color identified the new ranges, uh, uh, spreading of the ranges of these species in the um, uh, end uh, of last century. Uh, the same situation with uh, the Mm, uh, we observed this, the, its original was, uh, ranges was, and we have the two, two part of the, uh, this uh, ranges in the S and the S, and now it's coincide. And the same situation with uh, all in other rodents, uh, including uh, the uh, ratus ratus, uh, it's, it's which uh, 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 more, more <coughs> uh, prefer this uh, warm climate, but now penetrate to the north too. Uh, uh, and uh, what is very interesting with the situation with uh, 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 with mice, uh, this uh, penetrated in many places. You see, in the, found in the north and Arctic zone. Uh, penetrated with, of course, with humans and because the warming. Uh, changing the situation with muskrat, uh, uh, the, uh, this uh, spreading of muskrat in territory of Russia uh, uh, will dif differ with spreading in the Czech Republic and in Europe because it was not diffusion, uh, diffusion uh, invasion, but it was invasion uh, originally black point, it is intentionally introduced. But after that, especially now, the uh, uh, cell spreading uh, to, to the north uh, because the warming. Uh, keystone species beaver uh, now occupied uh, its European beaver and Canadian beaver, it penetrated from the Finland. Uh, European bio occupied all the part of the Russia and now destroyed many places in the small rivers. Uh, it is very interesting situation with another, another keystone species, it's uh, wild boar. Uh, you see this, uh, it is the border of the ranges. Every year the uh, shift to the north and one findings in the Arctic zone now were absorbed. And another thing, that's uh, invasion of stone martin. You see this, uh, uh, the same situation spreading to the north. Uh, and for uh, raccoon dog, uh, which intentionally, and uh, ski deer, we intentionally introduced from far, far east of Russia, occupied all European territory and widespread there, and uh, destroyed the uh, nest of uh, waterfalls and transmitted different diseases. Um, I have not enough time and I will... Uh, ah, it's very important to use the uh, GIS technology for study of such changing of the range of the, po of the uh, especially animal population and of course uh, uh, ranges. And uh, we have such a small experience in this field and uh, you see here uh, the process of founding. Uh, we use the uh, geographical system, uh, GIS, and uh, it's very suitable for uh, study these uh, uh, processes. 
What is the perspective of development of priority target uh, approach for alien species? Uh, of course, background of all of the such things is monitoring of alien species and study of biological traits and studies of alien species impact on Aboriginal ecosystem. Uh, it is uh, ecosystem. Uh, only after that we can provide risk assessment for new biological invasion. Several words about the study in frame of joint Ethio-Russian biological expedition with organized by the Russian Academy of Science 30 years ago. <coughs> Uh, it is more closer. After the work, uh, many years work, we found many new species for science. Uh, I mean this here only about the mammals, but of course for a different group of organisms we have the same, the same results. Uh, and uh, what is interesting for the um, subject closer to this workshop, this one of our uh, team uh, study uh, uh, the uh, found a link between the origin of hepatitis A viruses. You know, of course, much better than me, that hepatitis viruses originally with the reservoir was the, uh, some primates, but it was found its big group work in different part of the world. It was this project was organized but by uh, Bonn University from Germany, and we work only here in Ethiopia. Uh, uh, but uh, as a result, we found uh, in many uh, f studying of, uh, first of all, the rods, uh, rodents, our team was studied rodents, uh, <coughs> uh, they found the, uh, many another, uh, another uh, host of these viruses, not only primates, but different, and, um, different kinds of these viruses were, was found. And uh, you can hear, sir, it uh, was published uh, last year, a uh, big group who involved in this project. And you can uh, see now that uh, the host of this disease uh, no, uh, much more than was found before. And in other, in other, in other things, uh, that uh, they studied this in other kind of the viruses which found in the bats. And another one, it's, uh, we found uh, in the uh, small rats and so on. Uh, what about the activity in frame of uh, International Union of Biological uh, Sciences? You know, that's uh, biological, uh, we have a several program in our uh, IUBS, uh, and one of them is the biological consequences of global change. It is very interesting that uh, originally this program, program uh, b began in the, uh, in the zoological, in the International Society of Zoological Sciences, initiated in 2008, but in 2009 uh, it was uh, uh, adopted in IOBS in General Assembly, which was here. We uh, proposed this project uh, in, in Cape Town in almost six, uh, seven years ago. And uh, what is the goals of this program? It promotes the understanding of the uh, impact of global change on, on all biological system. You can see here, we, I, I have no time. And uh, different focuses were organized, workshops, uh, first of all, some exchange of information, sometimes uh, sometimes we organize some small uh, study and projects which uh, found additional support. Uh, and uh, you can find many things in this uh, website. Uh, uh, and what, what is about the networks? Many people from many, many parts of the world involved in this project. And uh, uh, I hope that this project will develop because the global change not finished up till now. Well, another, uh, another, uh, project, another project which appeared in the frame of IOBS, uh, it's uh, started just now, it's supported by uh, University of uh, some uh, Norwegian Academy of Science. It's this uh, project about the plague. Uh, uh, plague, you know, it's 
uh, today in morning already tell about the plague distribution that we uh, observed three big pandemic in, in the world, one in uh, so-called um, Justinian pandemic in f five and uh, seven centuries, second one in the thir 13 and 70 centuries, and uh, third, uh, 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 third one, sorry, uh, originated in the last part of the uh, 19th century. And uh, I can say that uh, now the plague reimagined in many places of the world, uh, including the Russia, including Mongolia, and first of all, the China. And of course, uh, the main work uh, was organized in territory of China. We can see all of this point. At this point, we found the uh, uh, were found uh, the plague. They, they have Chin Chinese, they have very good statistics for a long time since the uh, since, uh, uh, 18th century. Uh, and you, key, you can see here this is places, uh, in, place in the, uh, all of this point, it, it is uh, the point not uh, only the, they found the plague, but the infection of the county, with such administrative, dis, dis, administrative districts. You see it's very interesting that it's, uh, they have uh, two places in the north and the south, and uh, the processes is very, uh, good modeling, uh, you see this, uh, this point, and uh, uh, according to the data, uh, using the some mini techniques, Chinese colleague, I, I have to say that uh, one of the leader of this work is our previous president, Neil uh, Stenset, maybe somebody knows him, president of IUBS. You see, uh, it is uh, the arrows, uh, they show the uh, exchange of the penetration of the different part of the ch uh, China, the plague during the uh, ma many years. And it's very interesting about the uh, climate change uh, influence on the plague distribution in the territory of China. You can see here this, of course, uh, during the dot because, because the plague uh, themselves and, and of course flea and of course the host, uh, it's mainly it's rodents, uh, they, uh, they need the food, they need the grasses, and they need a uh, warm and humid climate. And uh, during the drying time, uh, uh, dry time, that's uh, declining, declining of the uh, uh, percent of, uh, of the plague observation. But of course, in different part of the China, uh, north and south, they observe the different picture. And of course, it's very important thing that it depend, depends on the uh, habits of uh, the host, uh, depends on the habits of rodents. It's a very good example uh, uh, which uh, uh, for Inner Mongolia, in the uh, north part of the China, uh, one of these, uh, it is a Mongolian gerbil, uh, they uh, prefer such uh, uh, desert, places, uh, not with glasses, uh, to, uh, they stay individually, but uh, colonial Daurian ground squirrel, they uh, have grasses places, uh, all of these places, uh, points uh, you see, it is uh, determined of the place with the plague. And during the, uh, uh, if, if, uh, 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 we compare the different part of, uh, uh, of uh, temporal observation. Uh, during the drying time, uh, of course, uh, this uh, fossil, uh, fossil, this fossil with uh, Mongolian gerbil, uh, gerbil uh, exists, but uh, during the drying, the drying time, not good uh, time for uh, a Daurian uh, ground squirrel. And uh, you see that uh, it is example very good illustrated with the not so simple uh, impact of global change. Uh, for one species, uh, it's very important species for uh, disease spreading, uh, have a good uh, condition in dry time, but another one uh, in, in the 
uh, wet time. <coughs> well, it's several conclusion. First of all, I, I, if, uh, as I you showed, it's uh, uh, all of such global chains, of course, intensifying the invasion process. Uh, and it's uh, changes in regulation of invasion process. Uh, we, uh, first of all, were observed not only while spreading the sow species to the north, but we uh, observed the changes in or vulnerability of ecosystem uh, which uh, promote the new invasion uh, in uh, Aboriginal ecosystem. Uh, and, uh, and in local scales, information uh, of uh, uh, in local scale, ecosystems transformation and uh, sometimes degradation were observed. Uh, and the, as a result of global change and uh, the role of alien species as transmitter and reservoirs of the infection will be dramatically increased. The choice of primary targets alien species is one of the way of alien species control. As uh, finally, I show the one photo which get a picture with uh, got my good friend from Mali. In a small village in Mali, one daughter, uh, one physician, uh, who used, as I understood, only one plant for medicine, can uh, treat so many different diseases. I think that we have not so bad perspective. Thank you very much. Maybe one question before lunch. Oh, Raymond. In plants, it is more propagated by the scientific activities, such as modification. In uh, animals' migrations, how are we going to manage this? If, for example, migrations are going to be causing diseases where they arrive newly. For plants, we can. But for animals, how? Yes, uh, I am not agree with you that the situation with plants much better with this in, uh, animals. I think it's uh, similar. But of course, the, any, anything study ecology of the plant, uh, plant uh, it's uh, more simple uh, for study because they stay in the same place. Uh, but how to develop the study of uh, uh, alien animals? Of course, uh, unfortunately, one part of my report I <laughs> miss, missed, but uh, I, I uh, can say that uh, to our approach to find, first of all, for such target, target species, which are more important, first of all, for as a force uh, uh, of the, some disease, as a reservoir of disease, on transmitter of disease, and so on. And organize the monitoring. For alien species, very important to organize an information system, database, because uh, uh, why we, first, of, first of step of development of this science in my country, we established a journal and established uh, some uh, website. Uh, what is the journal? Of course, all invasion have lake, lake phase, such a uh, period of uh, establishing of population, of naturalization, how we call it. But uh, very important first finding, if we organize the monitoring of biodiversity, our native biodiversity, and finding new species, 
it is possible to eliminate the species in the first phase of introduction, especially uh, uh, do you remember this uh, small uh, mice in Ethiopia? Up till now, we don't know. It, this species penetrated from another country and, and transported viruses. Before this, our study, no these uh, hepatic, uh, hepatic viruses were found there uh, from, from uh, small rodents, of course, small rodents. It was found by transmitted by humans, but not rodents. Because, because no data, no data. Organizing monitoring, organizing informative system, all cases, all examples of good control of invasive species, especially good developed in the United States, was originated with uh, much more money they spent for organizing informative system. Yes? First finding and control of development of uh, population. Thank you very much. <laughs>